SEBO Automatic X7 XL Plus, a John Lewis special SEBO. It is mine. I own this now. We get to experience it together. I did a swap with the lovely Mr James, who had expressed an interest before in the Hitachi CV7100. I don't know, I was just going to lend it to him. Then he said he had this kicking around, didn't know what to do with it, and so a simple swap was formed. Let's have a look at this machine. This is my first X7 showing you. I've seen a couple, but never owned one. We'll have a look at the mandatory bago stuff that we get with it, and have a look at the slight flaws with this machine and how badly they impact things. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and SIBO chums. How are you today? Yes, our first SIBO Automatic X7. I've been looking for one, but bless them, they're just not quite as worthless as the old X1 or X4. You can pick one of those up for free. You don't need to spend much money at all. These are like, they're holding their value. They're still new. They're still current. And despite it sharing a lot of resemblances with ye old SIBO X4, there are many little differences. We'll start up here and then we'll work down. Because yeah, we have our standard handle, our standard cable. If we move that latch and pull this out, we can see that it's actually not too bad. The signs of a heavily used SIBO vacuum cleaner. One of them is that this bit is just worn smooth and scratched up and scuffed up where it just sits you know, moving ever so slightly in that handle. So that's good to see. We also, yeah, the cable grommet is okay. It can, it's, it's starting to break on the third one where they always go. But that's fine because when the cable breaks and you have to put it out anyway, you can chop that down, put the cable back in. No one will ever know. But we don't have any of that such problems with this handle. It is perfectly fine and good for now. Then we can take our hose out and if I push the button and pull this out, we can again see that this has seen a bit more use but again, you know, from the SIBOs that I have seen, the fact that you can still see the curvature of the moulding is enough. I've seen them, well, we've seen them worn down like that before, where it's been the only tool used. So yeah, not too bad. A nice modern style. I've not actually been too hands-on with this era of stretch hose before. It's a lot stretchier than the older ones. Look, we can, we can go all the way to there from back here, although yeah, still the same caveat of it's a SIBO, you've got to be a bit careful Blah, using the hose. Look, there's one of the flaws, just manifested itself. Let us move down and continue. So we'll take the hose off just to get it out of the way and yeah, nothing broken or damaged there. Very good indeed. Let us remove the bag door, which as you can see contains genuine bags, Genuine filters, it's a well cared for machine. There's also this, which Mr. James said he took off because it made a weird noise on his laminate. So we are going to put that back to, obviously I have laminate, it's probably quite a key part. And again, I've only ever seen these worn completely off and have just never quite wanted to spend the £10 that they are on a new one. That's fine buddy, you have a lie down. We'll get to you in a minute. So, ah, nice genuine bag, we'll be keeping that. Nothing, barely any dirt in it at all. And what there is is Mr. James's, and that is fine. And yeah, we have ourselves a very nice, it's like a little bit scuffed, but I reckon a bit of the old rotary action will get rid of that. What we probably can't buff out is the missing latch here. That you can see on this side, it is intact. On this side it isn't, which is a slight shame, but it's not that catastrophic, I'll be honest, because there's still two that. Oh wait, we have to put the bag back in. Otherwise, that won't go too well, will it? Oh, pop you in there. There we go. Yeah, it's held in by two. It doesn't seem to affect it 
too much. I mean, it's not even it's not even really pulling out whilst stationary. And again, when it's turned on, it's all going to suck itself in anyway. So I think I'm just going to ignore that because chances of me finding a less scratched up blue X7 bag door nowadays, it's going to be more effort than it's really worth. So we won't. We have a filter. It all smells very nice, and Mr. James has got some HG fragrance capsules in this, which I, I actually quite like. I've never been one for those, but it is very nice. Yeah, Sabo S-Class filtration, very nice indeed. Your standard bogo filter there, I think. And then if we push the metal clip up, pop that back in, we'll put the bag door on. And then we'll move around to the back where we have, I mean, obviously we're taking the wand off. We have a reasonably used crevice tool. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, seen worse. Oh, put that back on there. We have a, ooh, our SIBO upholstery brush, but it's missing the lint strips. Oh no, I want a refund. Yeah, we'll just put that back in there and probably never care again. The main issue with this machine, if we come down here, is actually here. As you can notice, it, it sort of works. It sort of doesn't. If it seems that the spring that does all of this is quite loose and isn't pushing back in. If I push it in by hand, absolutely fine. It comes down... This, I think, is of the era where it doesn't have a midpoint lock, rather like the SIBO BP cordless that we've seen. This is of this generation and style. So, yeah, we either have locked or fully floating. So, yeah, there's that. We'll come on to that in a bit because we'll give it a demonstration first. I've not actually split this yet. Oh, there we go. Seeing this all for the first time, well, that's nice and clean in there. Again, I see these cake dripping with carbon dust, so it all comes out of the post motor filter. But of course, that all works rather differently on this machine. I mean, this is pretty much the same, they've changed the design a bit. Done. Here is where the major differences are. First, with the shape, it, it's more boxy, it's more in keeping with their other cylinders. I'm not sure if I prefer it, but I don't hate it. It's quite nice. The seals on there are very good. Normally, you can see a load of fluff course around there, so that's nice. Round back, we have our very nice post motor filter this is where the air comes out of here and unlike the little tiny pad that you used to get that used to melt and never get changed there is such a lot of surface area here because it effectively just goes into a sock and it's just distributed throughout the whole thing so it doesn't choke itself up as much it doesn't go as gacky i know these things are notorious for having other little issues around the motor housing when they're used hard, but this one isn't going to have that. This is very, very lightly used. Up front, boost button, that's cool. Then the magic brush roll button. And the brush roll is immaculate, barely used, nice stiff bristles, zero need to change that at all. I can say underneath is really good too. There we go, that's Zero X7. SEVX001, that is so that John Lewis don't have to price match this to any other CWX7 because it's different. So that's nice of them, that's how that sort of thing works. Can we just slide this back in here? Or are you going to be difficult? I'm hoping it will just. Oh, wait, no, we can go right from the end. Ignore me, that's cool. So we'll pop this back in because I'll start off with it if it makes a horrible noise on my flooring oh, I'll take it back out but we won't know until we try so that's nice our flappage flap is completely clean and yeah it's it, it's something to do with all of this it's not being spun back properly so we'll have a look at that later on we shall ignore the problems for now because we don't need it to lock up right in order to carry on using it so we'll put that in there oh that on there pop this all back together, bang the handle on, and we shall give it, ow, there we go, 
We'll give it a go. Um, I'll show you, I mean, you've probably all heard the Civo X7 by now, so we're not going to really have anything surprising. Let's show you, ah, let me say, don't fall on the curb, you'll break. I'll show you how this particular one works. Here we go then, I've got my Civo rug. We don't even have to press the recline pedal. It's so eager to get going. Let's let it settle down and see how it works. And unlike the older X4s, X5s, X1s, this seems to go down just a little bit further. So it's quite nice and deep. Doesn't seem to skim by the top. And we can even press the boost button. Right, then we get magnificent blooming on our Simo run. Very nice, didn't it? Did we go up? Yep, and then we can raise her up. And turn it off. Yeah, it all works really well and the Sebo X7 the changes are under the hood it apparently senses better the old X4 and X1s sort of bounced up and down if you weren't careful because they reacted too quickly this has had all these algorithms changed so hence why you noticed it, it it sensed a bit and went down waited had a couple of strokes and then it went down again on an X4 it would have gone up and that is the nicest thing about this when I was told that and used one properly it all suddenly made a lot more sense. And I've used it around my house on the carpet upstairs that the last X1 that I had just, just wouldn't touch. And yeah, you turn it on. Cover that up. There you go. It's going down, down first. And I can feel it now by waiting. And then yeah, it doesn't just immediately change. It's going down more than. There, there it is. Didn't let it fully. That's the slight issue I'm not a fan of with these. You, you, you don't have to, but you should let it rise back up again so it knows where it is. You know, I think it, it defaults to up. So there's that. It's also got the amazingly bright John Lewis special headlight, which is fantastic. I mean, you can buy a kit from seboshop.co.uk to fit this to any old Sebo, and you know, it's about 50 quid. So having it by default on the machine is very nice. So yeah, it works fine. Let's have a look and see if we can't do anything about this pedal, because it is more annoying than you think, because you know, I'm not expecting it to fall. If it was a stick vacuum, it, it would be a given, but yeah, it, it, it has caused some issues. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, now the folk at Sebo Shop do have on their blog a post on exactly how to do what I'm about to do. I, I may have even looked at it before embarking on this job, so we might even be able to do it. Yeah, you can buy this spring for about a fiver, and that tells me that this is probably either going to be worn and just needs to be replaced, or is off somewhere. So I did one screw there. Again, this is different. There's no axle bar down the back like on an X. And that withdraws all of the axle, which also comes with the spring. So it all goes through there, and that's what tensions it. Are you all going to fall apart? Uh, yeah, that spring seems fairly well tensioned. Oh, there we go. Look, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if... We put it in there, and then, oh yeah, look, I can get uh, quite a bit of tension on it there, so I guess we could try that. I don't know, surely it can't be that simple. No, it's not, that's, that's very wrong. Let me see if I can tension this up and improve it, otherwise, yeah, it's just going to need a new spring, I think. Okay, couldn't sort of tension the spring and such because it didn't actually work like that. What I did was got some pliers and just bent this tab 
down a bit. It wasn't at that much of a right angle before. And now it seems to have just taken that little bit of slot. That can now spring back. It wasn't doing that before. So I think we've just completely fixed it for a little tweak with some pliers. I'm probably just going to forget about the bag door being completely broken if I ever sell it. Do, let, do remind me to disclose that. Because, yeah, the whole machine is now working fine. But wait, there is more. Because, yeah, we have this bag of stuff. And inside this bag of stuff is <gasps> some SIBO DOP in the little applicator box. A, I'm going to say never used, maybe once, SIBO turbo head. And the era appropriate extension hose i've got the older one of these which actually feels a bit nicer can't lie and it's probably a bit stretchier yeah this is your extension hose so what you do is because obviously you can't do much with this is you take this hose off the machine plug it into this end and all of a sudden, you now have a nice long hose. And this is how it gets away with being useful for other stuff. I mean, you can put this back onto the wand, I'm pretty sure. No, you can't. Oh, I always thought you could clip that in. Fair enough. I guess it makes sense. Now, this is missing an extension wand, apparently. Oh, I mean, do I get hold of one? Let me know. But, oh yeah, I turned it off to faff around. Oh yeah, lots of airflow. Oh, wow, yeah. That's cool. And I just noticed something else that I hadn't fully realised whilst doing that. Look, the headlight isn't working. Which, I mean, makes all the sense in the world now I think about it, but I hadn't noticed. Yeah, Mr. James said he bought this to go with it and didn't really use it. And I don't think I'm ever going to really use it, I can't lie. But what we can do is a little test because I've just put some on this rug because oh, it's a SIBO rug. We're using SIBO stuff, you know, it's what we should do. But I have remembered that I do have some stains on this rug. We have this and then we have this red patch, which is, if you remember, that pneumatic NV200 that we got very late last year. Well, that's from that. So we shall tip our SIBO powder down. Then we have the little applicator brush in the lid. I'm gonna scrub it in and we'll let it dry and we'll see if it's actually going to work because I've used this in various brands and guises and I've never found it actually gets rid of any stain. What it does, I mean especially not with this, is freshen up the pile and make the whole place smell delightful. And that's all I've really ever wanted from it. Once I've worked that out, I've decided that that's good enough. Oh, look at that, good old scrub in there. And then, well, we put it down on here. We may as well give the SIBO rug a bit of a scrubbing too. And I'll give it half an hour because I don't want to gack up my nice SIBO X7. I mean, this is looking a bit tatty since we cleaned it when we first got it from Barton's. We might have to do something about that. There we go. Right. Oh, that's very bad. Let's give this a bit and then see how it works. Alrighty then. It's been probably not long enough, but I am impatient. Now let us clean up this duo P with our SIVO, which, yeah, I think I'm going to call that fixed. If your SIVO X7 is a bit floppy, just kink the end off the spring. Let it go steam. Soften them up. Very cool. Indeed. Right. 
Let's move on to the Subo rug. We'll watch the lights and see if it changes. Let's yeah, go up a little bit. much more improved than you know the X4 and the X1 and I mean that's just what I've had the most experience with I've not used an X7 more than in somebody else's premises on their flooring it's been quite nice to get the grips with one seems all right on the laminate sucks itself down to lino sadly and there's not a lot you can do about it but that's just what you get it would be nice if the brush roll would turn off but problem is it's all mechanical under there you'd have to find a way to reliably you know break that mechanism whilst the machine is running i don't think you'd do it it's a shame that you can't lock the pedal because you know if i wanted to say i am cleaning my tassels you know like this you do it right you can just go back but i can't yeah, it's just a bit of a shame. That was the problem with the BP60. And you end up turning it and twisting it, and that's when you mess up the handle. That's when you mess up this joint. It's a bit of a shame that the midlock isn't back. But again, bar those extreme use cases, I'm struggling to think of it being deal breaker who knows but there we go so i know a lot of you people would have had much more experience with an x7 than me do let me know down below what your favorite x7 is and if you have one and what you thought of it i mean i'm probably going to take this one apart and refurbish it not that it needs it just because i want to you know we can have a nice look at the internals i can do a full thread on the Manchester Vax forum. Do you read my Manchester Vax threads? Do let me know down below. There are many on there. I have a huge backlog of many to write and this can join them. So, my first SIBO X7 ownership experience is so far very good. Let's see when we will see this one again. But until the next time, I and this SIBO, although it's probably not going to be refurbished for a while because it's in fully working order, it's just going to get used for a bit. So who knows? One day, maybe. But I and this will definitely see you soon. Bye-bye.